All these words mean the same thing. I brought you some flowers and I want to say thank you from all of us at Feldenkrais NYC. Thank you for choosing us to practice, to study, to train awareness and for choosing us to solve your problems, whether an injury or a disease that affects the movement. Today, somebody wrote on Google Review something very, very heartwarming and wonderful. And I feel so honored to, to be part of your life, to be part of the community. People like you inspired us and contribute to the uplifting positive vibe and atmosphere in our office. And in addition to the flowers, I'd like to invite you to express gratitude toward yourself. You'll be thanking your family, your friends, your loved ones throughout the day, but also find a little time to think and contemplate and thank yourself. And here's a little practice. Please lie on your back. Today we'll combine the work of Vietnamese Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh from this beautiful book, Teachings on Love. This will be a little mantra, a little meditation on understanding and love. And we'll do a Feldenkrais scan, acknowledging and appreciating parts of you, parts of your body, parts of your mind. So please lie on your back. If you want, you can put a pillow under your head. If you would like, you can have your knees bent or have knees, legs supported on an ottoman or pillows, whatever makes you comfortable. If you like, close your eyes. and let your body sink to the floor, surrender to the ground. Let's start with our mind. Let's set a tone for better practice of self-awareness. So the first thing Thich Nhat Hanh proposes is a mantra that follows. May I learn to look at myself with eyes of understanding and love. The eyes of understanding and love. How can we learn that? How can we look at ourselves? with such kindness, compassion. What do you think the eyes of understanding and love look like? What do they feel like? Learning to look at ourselves, to observe myself with eyes of understanding and love. After we spend a minute or so, 
meditating on it, repeating that mantra, we go to the second part. May I be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in me. Recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in me. And we stay with that. If you like, you can repeat that quietly for yourself. Contemplating, recognizing, searching, looking, finding, touching the seeds of joy and happiness in you. And I'll help you with that a little bit. One place is your skeleton. Take a moment to sense, to be with your skeleton. It's working all day long to cancel gravity, to support you. And I know, sometimes it doesn't do the perfect job and we have all sorts of skeletal troubles, maybe osteoporosis, osteopenia, or some other bony troubles. But it doesn't have to be perfect for us to function well and to actually enjoy it sense your skeleton, skeleton of your heels, skeleton of your feet, toes, skeleton of your hands, fingers, skeleton in your ankles, lower legs, the thigh bones, hips and pelvis, sense the skeleton of your spine, skeleton of your rib cage with 12 pairs of ribs, breastbone in the front, Feel your shoulder blades. Skeleton of your collar bones and arm bones, forearms. The skeleton of your head, your skull, protecting your brain. Let's appreciate a little bit and touch the seeds of joy from our nervous system. Your wonderful brain, spinal cord, peripheral nervous system. It controls all of the sensations from your body, from the environment. that nervous system that translates those sensory inputs into some kind of meaning, 
in other words, interpreting whatever you're sensing. The nervous system that allows you to act, to execute, to do stuff. See if you can find seeds of joy and happiness in your nervous system. And of course, we could look at troubles of the nervous system, depression and so on. But we can also find potential for movement, potential for learning, potential for change. Move your attention to your muscles. Muscles of your whole body helping you every day move, helping you breathe, helping you turn, helping you walk, helping you roll over in bed. Practically all movements, you rely on their contractions and relaxations. They're wonderful. Take a moment to give thanks to your muscles. Thank you, muscles. And again, they don't have to be perfect. You may have some muscle spasm, cramps, pulls, tensions, and still appreciate them. Feel your diaphragm helping you draw breath in and letting go as you exhale. Finally, give thanks to your surroundings, to the environment in which you operate, you live. Thank the floor, the ground that supports you, Mother Earth that holds you. Gravity that helps us manage life on this planet. Friction from the floor that allows you to move from point A to point B, to travel, to arrive, to leave when that necessary. Thank social environment. Your friends, neighbors, family, your bloodline, your landline from where you are, from where you're from. All these people help us become who we are.
the third part of this meditation is touching the seeds that are not so wholesome. May I be able to identify and see the seeds of anger, delusion and craving in me. May I be able to identify and see the seeds of anger, delusion and craving. Awareness helps us navigate in life, helps us recognize what to do more, what to do less. Watering the good seeds, spending some time tending to them, and not watering the seeds that don't serve us well. So one more time to recap this meditation. First one, may I be able to look at myself with eyes of understanding and love. Next, may I be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in me. And the third, may I be able to recognize and see the sources of anger, delusion and craving. And Thich Nhat Hanh was recommending that we start with ourselves if we have some difficult times, maybe start with the first two, with the positive, not touching the bad seeds yet. When we get stronger, then we can touch those. But first strengthening ourselves by meditating of understanding and love and seeds of joy and happiness. After we work with ourselves, we can meditate on others. May he be able to see himself with eyes of understanding and love. She, them. We can start with people who are neutral to us, our friends and loved ones. And then even work on people who annoy us or whom we don't understand on, or have some difficult time. Now please bend both of your knees. Stand your feet shoulder width apart comfortably. A few times very gently lift the ball of the feet and toes and lower them down and observe this gentle rocking movement, tilting your pelvis, your lower back changes, the relationship with the floor. Can you feel the movement transferring up toward your head? Maybe your chin moves a little bit up away from your chest and then down. Now make a few quicker movements surrendering to that wave of force 
traveling up and down, up and down. Good. Stop. And please put your right hand on your left shoulder, left hand underneath your right shoulder. Hug yourself. And very gently, using your right hand to gently invite your left shoulder to lift, roll a tiny bit to the right, and then repeat the same with your left hand, pulling your ribs to the left. Gently pull with your right hand, your left shoulder rolling to the right, and then left hand pulling your right ribs to the left, and rock yourself gently from side to side. Do not insist. Make it small. Make it gentle. You can help by pressing your foot. Your right foot helps you roll left. Left foot helps you roll right. Allow your ribs, your pelvis, your shoulders, your head to join this gentle movement. Hugging yourself, thanking yourself. It's okay to thank ourselves. And I understand sometimes we are a little driven. We think we need to be tough on ourselves to achieve things. So, thing like this can feel touchy-feely bit. But appreciating yourself is not going to be harmful for sure. Wonderful. Stop. Slowly stretch out your legs and arms. If you can, spend a moment resting on your back. Maybe even take a little nap. If you have time for yourself, if you're busy, that's enough. That's good enough. And please bend both of your knees. If you need to go, roll to your side and come up. Slowly. Watch how your muscles, skeleton and nervous system interact. Have a happy Thanksgiving.